I'm frequently asked about psoas major and is it, and it's, and, uh, is it a hip flexor? Um, and the simple answer is no. Uh, psoas mus the psoas major muscle is a, is a muscle that looks like hip flexor because it sits on the front of the pelvis, um, um, but it really doesn't do that. When we look at its anatomy, its biomechanics, its neurophysiology and pain related changes, we start to see that it's a much more complicated muscle. Uh, our review work has shown that this muscle multitasks two roles. It has a local stabiliser role, largely, largely from the contributions of the posterior fascicles, uh, with, with, which have segmental innervation, and it has a global stabiliser role with, from the anterior fascicles. This muscle has fascia atta that, fascial attachments onto the front of the pelvis, lateral to the pubic ramus. When it shortens, it shortens between 1.5 to 2.25 centimetres and it will produce posterior tilt of the pelvis because of its fascia attachments to the front of the pelvis. So its main global role is to produce posterior tilt of the pelvis. That's where the confusion with hip flexion comes from. To flex the hip to end range, you have to posterior tilt the pelvis. To resist hip flexion at any point in range, the pelvis posterior tilts to counterbalance the load on the pelvic joints and the hip joint and the lumbar spine. So posterior tilt of the pelvis is, the, is a conjoined movement hip flexion and that's what psoas major does in its global role. It is a local stabiliser. As a local stabiliser it provides segmental control of intersegmental translation or displacement in the lumbar spine and across the sacroiliac joint and it has a role similar to supraspinatus at the shoulder at the hip joint. It doesn't need to shorten much, it doesn't need to change length to help hold the femoral head and the acetabulum while the other big hip flexors produce the mechanical advantage to flex the hip through range. So we have produced a lot of this information in an e-learning module on our website movementperformancesolutions.com and in that e-learning module we go through all of this, all of the, the research behind all of this and demonstrate that psoas really is not a hip flexor, it doesn't get short in the presence of pain and pathology, it shows consistent and predictable signs of a loss of muscle volume, it's almost a mirror image to multifidus on the other side of the vertebral, uh, the vertebral spinous processes, the, ver the transverse processes. And it has a primary global stabiliser role to produce posterior tilt of the pelvis in assisting hip the efficiency of hip flexion, but it doesn't do hip flexion. And the global stabiliser role controlling intersegmental displacement and translation in the lumbar spine, the sacroiliac joint and the hip joint.